12. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Now write that again to get it stuck in your brains. Part over whole equals percent over 100. And remember, I did say, yes, there are other ways to figure out percentage problems depending on what they're giving you. But this proportion, you will be able to figure out any problem that they give you, no matter what pieces you have, whether you have the part and the percent, the whole and the part, whatever it is. So that's why we work using this so we don't have to worry about knowing five different ways to do it. We just have one way for now. All right, so our math message here says shade the grid, fill in the missing numbers for fractions, decimals, and percents, and write a ratio of shaded to total squares using the ratio notation, which is talking about that colon where we say two in the middle there. So um, let's see here. We know our percent for our first one is 70%. Here's our grid. How many uh, boxes do we have in that grid there? Four? 100. We have 100, so that's pretty easy. How much of that grid do I need to shade then to show 70%? Eight? Seven. Seven whole rows. Seven whole rows, because we know that there are 10 in each one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't have to be pretty. So there's my 70. How do I write it as a fraction? Show me that as a fraction. 14? 70 over 100. Good. 70 over 100 because we shaded 70 out of 100. How do I write it as a decimal? 11? Yep. 0 0.70. Or we could even just put 7. That zero at the end doesn't change anything. And now write it as a ratio. What would it look like as a ratio? What to what? If we're doing shaded to total, what's going to be on the left side of the ratio? What's going to be on the right side? Five? Good. 70 to 100. Now that one was pretty easy because it was already out of 100 pieces on our grid. Now, because what do we always have to have a percentage is out of what? Everyone? 100. Always out of 100. So that's when we can use like equivalent fractions to help us get up to 100. Because like this one, we can see right off the bat that it is not out of 100, is it? What's it out of? 50. So we only have half as many as we need. So that would tell you that you would need to double it to get your actual percent, right? So our decimal is 0.20 or 20 hundredths. So how would I write that as a fraction? Eight? No, 20 fiftieths. Right. 20 hundredths, very good. Just like we say it here, 20 hundredths, so then it's 20 hundredths. What's my percent? Six? 20 percent. What's my ratio? Or shaded to total? Five? 20 to 50? Remember, if it's percent, what's it have to be out of? 100. So instead of 20 to 50, what's it need to be? 20 to 100. Now, tricky part, shade it for me. How many do I need to shade? to show 20% if I only have 50 boxes. Six? 
Hi, and how did you get that? See if you can say it out loud. It's hard to word things sometimes in math, isn't it? You got the right answer. How did he get there, Nine? Good. So we know that a percent needs to be out of 100, but we only have 50 up here. So we can think in those equivalent fractions. So if we know our percent is 20 out of 100, then we need to figure out what would go in our blank here. So we know that to get from 100 to 50, we had to divide it by 2. So then we need to divide our, our numerator by 2, which would give me 10. So I only need to do one row there. And now let's do, we have our fraction. And how many is it out of on this one? Definitely not out of 100. We can just see that visually. What's it out of, 8? 25. 25. So how do I write this as a decimal? 40 one hundredths as a decimal. 14? 0 0.40. 0 0.40 or 40 hundredths. Percentage? 17? 40%. And ratio? 12? 40 to what? Good. 40 to 100. So now if we know that our percent is 40, 40 out of 100, how many of the blocks do I need to shade out of 25 then to show that percentage there? How do you go from 100 to 25? 16? Good. Good. 100 divided by 4 gives me 25, so then I need to do 40 divided by 4, which gives me... 10, so I need to shade in two of these rows. So they're counting by fives. So you can see here that both of these ended up with the same amount of blocks shaded, right? This one has 10, this one has 10, but the percentage is different since the total number of blocks they have is different. Remember we talked about that a percent has to be out of 100 but that doesn't mean that there's every single time there's 100 of whatever you're talking about, whether it's votes or rainy days or whatever it is. That doesn't mean that there's always exactly 100 of those. It just means that every time there would be 100, this would be your total. Okay? Any questions on that top part? Make sense? All right, let's go on to the bottom. Number two, write the ratio of shaded part to the whole. Use the ratio rate table to find the ratio out of 100. So let's fill in our table here. We know that we have eight shaded. Using this, what will be my total then? Eight out of how many? In this box here. Five? Ten. ten. Yes. So our total is eight out of ten. That's our original total there. So now to make it into a percent, I need to make that total 100. So how did I do that? Eight? Good, so here my total, I need to multiply it by 10 to get up to my 100. And if I multiply this by 10, then I need to multiply that by 10, which then would tell me that I would need 80 out of 100 shaded. Now, tell me the ratio of my, uh, they're talking about the original. So what's the ratio for what we have drawn here? And then what is the percent of that shading there? 
What's the ratio for the original shading here? Four? Go ahead of us. Um, ratio for me. 80 to 100. That would be if I was doing the percentage, oh. the total. So What's the original? Eight to 10. Eight to 10. Good. 8 to 10, which then tells me my percent is what? 8. 8? What is it? 8 to 10. Is that out of 100? 80%. Good. Okay, now we only have this. So what is my beginning? What do I have out of what? the total. How many shaded? 14? Five yes, go ahead. Five shaded here. Out of 25 total. Out of 25 total. Now, what do I need to do in my next step to get it to where I can be a percent? 12? Good. You have to get it to be a total of 100. So you have to do 25 times 4. So if I multiply this by 4, then everyone? Good. Then I have to multiply this by 4. So 5 times 4 gives me 20. So now the ratio. The ratio is for the original. So what did I have to start with? 5, what's my ratio to start with? 5 to 20. 5 to 20? What's the total that we started with here? There you go, five to 25. So that means five out of 25 boxes are shaded. And what would that percentage be then? 12? Hmm? Yep, 20%. And the bottom one, now they've given us a completely blank table. So what needs to go here? 14? Shaded and then on the bottom, total. Good, shaded and total. And using our original boxes over here, what's my first box going to look like? How many are shaded out of how many total? Eight? Six. Yes, we have six shaded. And we have two more, so that means our total is eight. Now, is there anything I can do from eight to 100 easily? No. Nothing times eight is going to give me exactly 100. So that's why they gave us all these boxes here. So we can walk through the steps, right? We need to go up. We need to figure out what can we multiply eight times to get to something that can then get us to 100. And we may even need to do two steps. We may need to do eight times something and then that times something, then get up to 100. We don't know. So what does somebody, let's think for a second. What well, if we multiply by eight times what do you wanna try? Something works. Is multiplication the only thing we can do? What else can we do? We can do division, right? We could go back down and then up. Nine, what do you want to try? Okay. She said to divide them by two. So real small in here, I'm going to divide them both by two. 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. three. 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. four. Is there anything with 4 that I could do to get up to 100? 17? 25. That's pretty easy, right? It only took us two steps. We can multiply 4 times 25 if we think in our quarters. 4 quarters gives us 100. 
So if we multiply this by 25, then ev everyone? Multiply that by 25. So 3 times 25, 3 quarters, gives me, everyone? 75. So 4 times 25 gives me my total of 100. 3 times 25 gives me 75. So now, what's my ratio for the original shading here? 12? Six to eight. And what is the percentage of that? Eight? Seventy-five percent. See, that wasn't too bad, right? Hmm? Yeah. All right, let's turn the page. Page 144. All right. So it says, this is a real life situation using our ratios and percentages here. So it says, Lucy is opening Lucky Lucy's Jean Store. She uses data from sales from a similar store to make her decisions. So now we have sales figures from Jeanette's jeans. 22% of the sales were boot cut jeans, 46 were slim fit, four were straight leg, and 28 were wide leg. It says that Lucy wants to, uh, plans to buy 1,400 pairs of jeans. If she buys jeans in the same ratio, as those sold at Jeanette's jeans, how many of each style should she buy? So we're gonna use, it says to use the ratio rate tables to show how you solve the problem. Remember to include the entry that is out of 100 on the table. So we're gonna start with the original, which is the percentage and how many jeans she's buying. And we're gonna get it to be out of 100 so we can find that percentage, okay? So it says, for example, for the 22%, Corresponding table entry would be 22 out of 100 or 22 boot cuts out of 100 total jeans. All right. So, boot cut, dream, boot cut jeans here. Let's see. I'm debating here for a second. All right, we are not gonna use ratio rate tables. So take your pencil, mark that out, and put proportion. Because again, we have pieces that we can plug into our proportion, and we can use that proportion on any problem we have. So who can tell me again, what is my proportion? Everyone say it out loud. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Now, for our bootcut jeans, it says that we have 22% 20, of the sales are from bootcut jeans, and she wants to buy 1,400 pairs of jeans. So what pieces of our proportion do we have there? Do we have the part, the whole, or the percent? Four, what do we have? We have the percent, we know it's 22%. So I'm gonna start building my percent, or my proportion, 22, the percent always what? What goes here? Every time, no matter what. Nine? 100. So part over whole equals percent over 100. So now what other piece do I have? Do I have the part or the whole? Nine? I have the whole, yes. I have 1,400. That's the total number of jeans that she is buying. So that means what goes here in this blank? 12? My variable, the X. So step one, build the pro proportion, done. Step two, what's step two? 16? 
cross multiply. So I'm gonna multiply across my proportion. So I have 100 times x, how do I write that? Eight, 100x. just 100 x. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go sideways here since I have more room this way. 100 x equals what? What do I need to do for the other side then? Eight. 22 times 1,400. And remember uh, my trick to hang those zeros off the side. So we can do 22 times 14 and then add the zeros back on at the end, okay? So four times two, eight. Four times two again, eight. And then bring my zero down to hold the place of that four. One times two, two. one times two. two. And then I can just bring those two zeros down. Eight plus zero, eight plus two is 10, carry my one. And I get my three. So I end up with 30,800. So my 30,800 goes on the other side of the equal sign. So I have 100x equals 30,800. Now what? So I did step one, I built my proportion. Step two, I cross multiplied. Fourteen? Good, so we need to get that x alone. And since it's multiplying by 100, we need to divide it by 100. So now we can say that that is gone and all we have left is our x. And then if I, multiply, or if I divide by 100 on the left, what do I need to do on the right? Divide by 100. So whatever I'm dividing by, I do it on both of them. Now, what's my, what can I do here to make things easier on myself? Nine? Yep, I've got a couple of zeros here I can cancel out. They both have two zeros at the end, so I can cancel those out, and I end up with what? Twelve? Three hundred and eight over one. Three hundred and eight divided by one, which is the same as just... 308. 308. So how many pairs of boot cut jeans does she need? 308. Okay, let's do straight leg. So again, we have our proportion. Part over whole equals blunt over our percent over 100. Fill in the pieces we have for the Straight leg, what do we know? What's one piece that we have of information? Four? Um, the percent, which is four. Good, we have the percent, which is just four percent. And then what's the other piece that we have? Do we have the part or the whole? Eleven? The whole, which is 1,400 again. And our blank, now we don't know the part, so that's where our variable goes. Okay, step one's done. Build our proportion. Step two. 14? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. So I'm multiplying these and these. How do I show 100 times x again? Nine? Just put it right next to each other. 100x equals... I need to go the uh, multiply across the other way now. 1,400 times 4. So remember, we can add the zeros on at the end. So 14 times 4. 4 times 4 gives me... Carry my 1. 4 times 1. Plus 1. 5. And then add my two zeros on. 
So I end up with 5,600. So I put that on the other side of my equals. So step two is finished. Cross multiplying is finished. And what's step three? Step one, build proportion. Step two, cross multiply. Step three. Well, what am I trying to do in that step? Why, why am I putting it over there? Get the x by itself. Yes, get my variable alone is number three. So to do that, like she said, I would need to put that over 100 because I need to be able to cancel that out. So since it's multiplying to begin with, I need to divide it. If I divide this side by 100, then what do I have to do on this side, everyone? Divide this by 100. What can I do now? 11? Yep, I have two zeros that I can cancel out. So I end up with x equals what? 8? 56. 56. I ended up with 56 over 1, which is the same as 56. So she needs 56 pairs. How are we feeling? Is it yeah. coming back now? Yes. We hadn't done it for a couple weeks, so. Well, we the, yeah, on. but it'll be the okay. same. We still have about 10 minutes actually of class, okay. but um, let's see if we can, I want you guys to work on this for a second and then on your own, and then we'll come and check it, okay? So we'll, and then we'll um, have our home link for 3-10.